What's good everybody? Fitz Family Constrictors here. Got a deer wanting to try and come out and kill me, but he knows I'm on tour, so sorry she knows I'm on tour. Come on to you deer. So what's good YouTube? Heading up to the shop, left my computer on and a few other things. Got a lot of stuff done today. I am so worn out. Super stoked I got a bunch of stuff in the incubator. That's gonna help out a ton. And uh, uh oh, I don't want Miller to come get me. <laughs> All right, howdy neighbors. All right, gonna head up there, gonna show you all some eggs. Really cool, super stoked about them. I got some gonna be getting cut here within a few weeks, which is really awesome. So be watching for those videos. I might even do one live. I think I might even do one live. I know I have a lot of people in the community that wanna come by and check out an egg cutting, so I'm probably gonna do that. And I'm about to break some news to y'all. I might be leaving the shop. I, I, I think I think it's in my family's best interest as well as my own to uh, bring everybody home. See, we want to try and move into a new house. We want to try and buy a new place. And um, I really want to have a little bit more money in the bank. Uh, and when I say a little bit more money, I mean any kind of money in the bank. And I'd save a lot of money if I just brought everybody home. Now, bringing everybody home is going to kind of stink a little bit because... I can't breed rats at home. That's the one thing. Why it's like, have a million snakes. I don't care. Rats? Nah. I'm not doing the rats. And I don't blame her. Rats stink. No matter how you cut it, they stink. You can have all the filters you want. I've got filters, but they still can stink. So, right now I got all my rats breeding over time, keeping everybody nice and clean and super filled and healthy and hardy. And uh, hopefully I can fill up that freezer and it will get me by for, I don't know, six months to uh, nine months. I don't know. We don't really have a great projection on this. Very scary, very scary. All right, so we got a guy passing another guy coming right at this guy with a motorcycle. All right, looks like I'm gonna live. That's good. I'm not scared of you, truck. I've wiped out before. <laughs> So yeah, uh, a scary prospect indeed. That's a lot of moving. I mean, if I was to do this, I'd be doing it within the next two months or so and in between the whole time moving stuff over. So I think I'm gonna start with my old incubator, fridge incubator that I built. I'm gonna bring that over to the house, get it set up, get it cooking and uh, get all the numbers dialed in. Gonna put an egg box in there without eggs in it till it's perfect temp. I'm actually gonna put one on both levels so that I can make sure the temps are good on both shelves. And uh, yeah, and that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, this is a true and tested incubator. I've already had scotches from it, so I know it's perfectly fine. And if I can get it dialed in, I'll have about two weeks or so that I can get it to temp at the house and run it perfect, make sure everything is good. And then I will transfer the eggs over. Now, luckily for me, our Ford F-150 has a nice little 12 volt plug in the back of it that I could kind of rig a cooler set up that will be nice and uh, perfect temperature for the transport for the 15 miles that I gotta go. So yeah, anyway, they should be totally fine anyway, as long as I keep the temperatures pretty good. I, I probably wouldn't even need the cooler to transport them, but eh, you know me, I'm a worry wart, so that's what I'm gonna do. Now I'm sorry about the extra wind. It is pretty windy out actually. I didn't expect it to be as windy as it is right now, so it's probably making the microphone sound a little bit funky. Uh, I do apologize for that again limited time so I got a bug crawling inside my visor that's never good let me get rid of this Ugh. all right so either I shot it farther back in my helmet or uh, it went outside it's a 50 50 <laughs> cruising right along about 55 ish a little under about 55 now that I've noticed I was slacking off there a little bit Gotta watch out for those deer. They're always out to get me. I rode by one earlier today. I'll throw a little video up right here. Yeah, just in case I don't have 50 more trying to get me. Usually a bunch in that field. This is a real dangerous spot right here because if you don't see them running from that side to cross the street right here and same thing down in this valley, you don't see them coming until you're right up on them. So you gotta be extra careful in spots like that, especially when you're on two wheels. Whew. Yeah, it's gonna be one of those days and one of those nights been a perfect weather day perfect weather day can't see me smiling but i am lost my sunglasses i'm actually really happy that this helmet that i got on had the built-in visors that you can shaded visors that you can flip down and up that's kind of coming in handy i thought it was pretty cheesy um really got these helmets for the intercom system 
but uh, yeah it's coming in freaking handy right now <laughs> so we're gonna move everything over here I think that's what we're gonna do I'd love to hear what you all think I mean I'm going to be honest with you, I really miss having my snakes close by. I miss being able to check on my stuff when I want to check on my stuff. Having them up there at the shop, I'm worrying constantly. I can't tell you how many trips I've had to make up there in the middle of the night or just after I get home thinking, did I lock the door? Is this okay? Uh, sometimes I'll get a call, hey, the power's gone up, off up this way and I have to run up there just to check on stuff. You know, it, it, it's, and we won't even get into all the times that I've forgotten my key once I've gotten to the shop. Let me check my pocket right now. Okay, I feel them in there. <laughs> uh, many, many, many times. And that is so heart-wrenching when I have a lot of stuff to do or I have to meet somebody and I got to rush back to the house. And the gas that it takes to go back and forth is multiple times a day that I actually go. It's, it's just ridiculous. Uh, so hopefully this motorcycle will compensate for some of that. Let's look off to the right. There's usually some deer. Nope, just some birds. My wife totaled a vehicle right here before. Right, not right here, right? <laughs> right here. Hit a deer, totaled it out. She's totaled out two vehicles, hit five deer. I've hit no deer, but it's just a matter of time. It's just a matter of time. Oh, we're gonna have a dust cloud coming at us. And it's gonna smell like shit. <laughs> Alright. Time to get the gas on. It's gonna be windy for a second, people. Gotta get rid of this tank. Giant dead cow once right here. That was a trip. Come over the hill this way, found it. <laughs> so we're gonna go up here to the shop. We're gonna check on some eggs. I have six clutches in the incubator. I believe it's a total of 40 eggs. I've got a few females that have just shown me some, some ovulations. And I got about another nine or so females that I think are actually really gonna go this year. The other ones they may or may not, but I think another nine of them total will, will go this year, which is really awesome. Uh, still breeding some pretty uh, cool stuff, but not too much out of the pocket kind of stuff. You know, I really like to stay in affordable range. And unfortunately and fortunately, I have a lot of followers that are very new to the game. And I say unfortunately because sometimes new people to the hobby um, are very anxious and hyper to get what they want and get going. And, and they ask a lot, a lot of questions and they worry themselves to death and they become they become almost a nuisance, you know what I mean? Or they say, yeah, they're ready to take a snake, they get a snake, you get it home, they, they can't get it to eat, you know, and it just turns into this long time, you know, thing. And it's, you know, it is what it is. But then it's good on the other hand, because of course it's good, you know what I mean? And of course it's good to be part of somebody's beginning. And I actually love that, so I don't mind it so much. But there is some negatives to it, you know, it can be, I've had some negative experiences. You know, not everybody's built the same emotionally and things, and you know, some people think that if you didn't get in touch with them within 5-10 minutes of them contacting you, that you don't like them anymore, or you feel like they're being a bad customer or something, and it can get pretty kooky, I'm not lying, it can get pretty kooky, You're like, um, no, I was just driving, I messaged you 10 minutes after you sent the message, I'm sorry. Try to be quicker next time. Weirdo. No deer. Good. See, the deer ain't out in the field. That's what I'm wondering. If I don't see them out here in the fields, that means they're staking out the side of the road ready to kill me. Spun out with the truck last winter right in this spot. There's the, uh, there's the bump right there. Fishtailed around, almost hit this tree, but I pulled it off. Gosh, it's windy. Gosh, it's windy. Yeah, I'm pretty stoked about some clutches that I got in there though. I have some pretty cool stuff, some things that I've that I've been wanting for a long time. I bought this one snake from Logan and Paul, this Exanthic VPI, and I didn't know what I was gonna do with it. I thought I was just gonna make some other uh, Exanthic combos. I actually was really thinking I was gonna do the Zebra Bee. That was what I was gonna go for. Um, I thought that it was just the, the cat's meow, and I still think it is. But it's been done a million times over, and if I'm gonna do something, I might as well do something that's just gonna continuously make um, money in the pocket you know what I mean and that is the lightning pipes now I know people are like lightning pipes ain't made with the VPI it's made with the other kind of exanthic you get what I'm saying those things are hot I love <laughs> and they sell great and they go for a nice penny so those are all holdbacks they're all going to be pastel double hat for pie to VPI exanthic and I'm pretty stoked about that I'm super stoked about the very first clutch that I'm going to be cutting and that is going to be my het pied female to my mahogany het pied male. Now, gosh, I wish I wasn't doing head to head, you know. I want 100% heads coming out of this stuff at least at minimum, but that's just not the cards I had. So, going a long route with this, but I could really, really, really 
really use those odds gods on this one and, and hit me up with quite a few of those visual mahogany pods. Uh, males uh, or females would be perfect. Uh, males would be all right, but females would be perfect. This guy said, just give me all females. I'll put the head to them. <laughs> um, another clutch I'm really stoked about, and that is the, uh, gosh, I guess, got a lot of cool stuff in there. I'm, I'm excited to see who's going to turn out with the banana stuff and who's not, because I put it a few different males to a few different females before I decided to go with banana stuff, so I'm really curious about that. Um, and any direction that stuff goes will be perfectly fine. Um, not not just for, for sale as well as for holdbacks more myself. Um, I'm going to be very careful on what I hold back. I try not to do too many holdbacks. Um, and then I end up selling my stuff eventually anyway, even though I hold it back for a little bit. And then, you know, somebody talks me into it. I need a couple extra bucks. Like right now, I put my Super Orange Dream Female up on my pork market because I need a couple extra bucks. And my wife said do a sale. Uh, until the end of the month, so it's actually a hundred dollars off of the asking price until the end of the month I think I'm asking 600 right now, which is a smashing deal for a super orange dream um, Both of my both of the parents came from Garrick to Meyer, so I mean it's just good quality stuff nice stuff uh, And it all originated from Ozzy Boyd stuff, of course So pretty stoked pretty stoked about that for sure um, and I'm still waiting on my GHI Mojaves. Now, I'm trying to get some GHI Mojaves that are het for lavender. These are all going to be posset lavenders, unfortunately. 50% um, het, matter of fact. So, it, it, it's going to be um, a hoping thing. And I'm hoping I can say back, you know, two or three really nice females and, uh, and a couple of really nice males as well. And hold them back for future stuff so that I can be doing some lavender GHI Mojave stuff in the future. Uh, I just think that that's a really cool lavender combo for sure. All right. Sorry again about all that wind or if this microphone's not the best. I'm still learning to work with it. Um, half the videos I've done actually out here in the motorcycle have not come out because I haven't had the mic hooked up correctly. <laughs> I'm a goof. Oh, she's turning. Good. Riding the Honda 750 Shadow Spirit, the 2009, just put over 5,100 miles on it. Really cool. Pretty stoked about that too. <laughs> Still waiting on some parts for my son. He's actually bought a Honda Rebel 250, and we've been waiting on these parts for about four weeks now. And there's a lot of backorder stuff because of all the stuff going on with gas prices and ships being stuck in harbors and I mean in canals and all this other crud. So, uh, yeah, still waiting on that, which I hope it hurries up because his mother and him have their MSF course in July, so the July 17th and 18th. So hopefully it's ready by then because then they take their test on that bike. And I'll tell you, I took my test on a Honda Rebel 250. It's what they offered me to take it on. It was actually on a DR650 uh, at first, but a tall gentleman that had a hard time bending down. Um, was better off using that one so I had to switch with them so I got a bit handlebar Honda 250 Rebel newer one um, and blew, blew through the test of course I thought it didn't matter what I was on I I enjoy riding different stuff and new things and stuff I really want to get one of those jockey ships I've never never ridden a jockey ship believe it or not been around a few I should have asked if I could give them a ride <laughs> Alright, we made it up here to the shop. I appreciate y'all hanging with me if you hung this long. Just gonna go in here real quick and just take a peek in the cooler and see if the eggs are good. Um, again, a lot of stuff going on uh, around the house with possibly moving and school's about to end and making summer plans and hopefully they pass their test because we have a lot of plans for the motorcycles as well. One of them being really cool. Um, basically almost like a loop around Lake Michigan um, so it should be pretty awesome taking a ferry across Lake Michigan from Wisconsin and then following it all the way up the mic's probably gonna sound a little different now that I lift this visor up and uh, then we're heading north once we get on the other side to Lenington Michigan and go over the Mackinac Bridge which would be pretty cool uh, I do have the regular pegs for this. They are going on there. I mean, yeah, that's the footboards are nice for just long travel goofing around, but I feel like I'm 150 years old with them. So those guys come off of their foot, regular foot pegs go on there. It's not a bad bike. I'm hoping the wife takes this over next season. She passes that license and everything, and uh, she can take this bike over, and I can get my bagger. God, I want a bagger so bad. All right, it is what it is. Let's get inside and see if 
those eggs are doing good now i think i'm cutting my first set of eggs like on the 31st um perhaps the first so i can't wait for that and then the next day i have another set of clutch and then about three weeks later or so something like that i have a three or four more clutches to cut and then uh hopefully by then i have more eggs in the incubator all right as we come in you see it as i see it I always check my temperature first it's perfect that's where i want it here's my cinnamon clutch in there doing good nice big clutch lots of moisture i love seeing that love seeing that in about three days i got to take some um, press and seal off a few of these tubs i always take about two weeks before the pip day 60 day um mine usually pip on day 54 but i always take this the clean uh, sorry the press and seal off about two weeks before it just um they don't need as much humidity as then at that point and uh they're pretty good so yeah pretty stoked everything's looking good looking good all right i've been cleaning like crazy it's the monthly clean i just got all these tubs done these ones are over here drying and uh yeah so got a lot to do thank you all for joining i appreciate y'all so much thank you guys i'm out hit that like button subscribe if you haven't already hit the notification bell to upload a video and check out how sweet this thing looks Right. That thing is sweet and on my morph market. This one's deep in shed and also on my morph market. Yeah, I took them off their substrate and got them on paper towels because pretty soon everybody's going to be paper towels. There's nothing in any of these bins at all. They're all empty. There's only two spots that have anything in it right now. And uh, I'm probably going to have to bring in my old handmade hatchling rack as well. Yeah. All right, I'm out. I'm excited. I'm excited for me. I'm excited for you all. All right.